Well, what we have found recently regarding the leukocytes of obese individuals is that uh, these cells have a, a deficit in the production of these pro-resolution mediators compared to a healthy subjects. So basically what we have performed is isolating leukocytes from these individuals, then incubated them in the tube, in the test tube, and then measure the amount of SPMs that they produce. And we found that most of the SPMs were decreased in the leukocytes from obese individuals compared to healthy subjects. What, uh, what, what we have found is that the mechanism by which these leukocytes do not produce the adequate amount of SPMs is related to either a lipoxygenase deficiency or an impairment in the transport of the omega-3 across the cell membrane. And what is important uh, for us is that we have obtained data indicating that if we supplement these cells with the intermediates, which are the intermediates that are produced from the omega-3s are the and the intermediates of SPM biosynthesis, we are able to recover the functionality of these cells. Well, uh, among all the obese individuals that we have tested in our study, uh, we did not see differences among the phenotype of these obese individuals. Some of them had diabetes, other had non-alcoholic steatopatitis, other had hypertension. So basically, all obese individuals, independently of the comorbidity that they have, are uh, benef they have a benefit from uh, this treatment. So it is very important to, to, to understand that uh, the resolution process is also under the genetic control. So we recently found a SNP, which is a polymorphism, in one of the receptors of these SPMs, which is the receptor that recognizes resolving E1. And we found that some genotypes of these SNPs had a higher resolution activity compared to the other genotype. So this is important because it's not actually just giving the proper uh, supplement of pro-resolving mediators, but also the genetic background of the individual. Uh, regarding adipose tissue, what uh, we have experienced during the last uh, five years is that there is an impaired, not only deficit in the production of these SPMs, but also in the response of these SPMs. So we have performed experiments in adipose tissue macrophages, which are the inflammatory cells that are in the inflamed adipose tissue of obese individuals. And we have found that these macrophages are actually polarized to a more activated state than the uh, macrophages from a healthy uh, individual. So we also perform experiments incubating these macrophages with SPMs, and we were able to turn the polarization of these cells from the M1, which is an activation, uh, uh, inflammatory activation state, to M2, which actually is a pro-resolutive phenotype. So we need to reduce inflammation, but using compounds that do not produce unwanted side effects. So for me, it's the ideal scenario for the SPMs because they induce the resolution of inflammation but they do not produce unwanted side effects.